Okay, in this portion of the lab, we're gonna use the variable of temperature. So we have everything set up the same way. We're gonna make sure our gas pressure sensor is, the stopper is on so that we can uh, collect all of the gas pressure inside because that's what we're measuring. We're measuring the pressure of the gas. As we get oxygen gas produced, the pressure should go up. So we're gonna look at the rate of reaction depending on what the temperature of the hydrogen peroxide is. So this hydrogen peroxide, remember the original one was at 20.3 Celsius. We're gonna go ahead and pour this in and then we'll take the temperature. This is our cooler of the two. We're gonna do one at warm as well, or hot. Okay, and stir bar, just like in the baseline. We're gonna take the stirrer to five. Let's take the temperature. This is where we have our change. Getting a consistent temperature of 13 degrees Celsius. So I have this set up to 200 seconds for collection. Two mLs of the catalase that I used, I created with a potato and this is distilled water. I'm gonna pour this in, secure the top, and press collect. Secure the top as much as possible. We don't want any of that pressure released because that's what we're measuring. And collect. Okay, now that we've reached the 200 uh, second point, we're gonna go ahead and stop this, we're gonna clean up, and then we're gonna do the warm H2O2. If you're watching this video, you use temperature as your experimental portion of your test. So as your variable, you use temperature. So we're going to look at the data for cold temperatures and we are gonna compare it to our baseline temperature. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to collect where I'm going to highlight from 40 seconds to 200. I'm going to go to the corner to graph tools. I'm going to click that, apply curve fit, and it's going to default to linear. I'm gonna hit apply and you will see that the data shows up on the right hand side. What we are looking for is this M, like we were on the baseline. The M is the slope, and we're gonna compare the slope of this cold temperature H2O2 to the room temperature or control H2O2. Okay, so we're gonna do the warm H2O2 on this. It's important to note that this hydrogen peroxide is 3% like the baseline. Everything else is consistent, except for the heat of the H2O2. So this is warmed up. I put in a water bath so I could get some consistency. Pour this 50 mLs of warm H2O2, hydrogen peroxide, in. Just like in every other experiment, I'm gonna put the stir bar in, take it to five, and then we're gonna take a temperature. Remember the original one was 20.3. This is gonna be much warmer. And we're looking at 37 degrees Celsius. Like every other experiment, two mLs of the catalase, the same catalase batch that I made originally with the potato and distilled water. I'm gonna pour this in, secure the top, make sure that this stopper is closed. We're gonna collect for 200 seconds and see what the reaction rate is. Quickly put it on. The reaction is already taking place and collect.
Okay, so we are done with this portion of this, uh, of this lab. We have our 200 seconds done. We're gonna go ahead and stop this and we'll analyze the data. We compared the cold and the baseline data for this experiment. Now we're gonna compare the hot temperature and see which one had a faster rate of reaction. So we're going to choose from 40 to 200, the data in that set, choose the graphing tool, apply the fit curve, it's gonna to default to linear again. We're gonna hit apply. And again, we're looking for the data on this side that says M, that is the slope, and we're gonna compare that slope to the cold, to the baseline, and see which of these three had a faster rate of reaction.